Hi Sagittarius, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your love reading for March 2023. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get started. Got angels, Holy Spirit. What does this person on Sagittarius' mind want to say? Their energy surrounding Sagittarius at this time, please. Holy Spirit, you clear messages. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Their energy surrounding Sagittarius. Two more. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Two more. Okay, under the deck you have obsessively or obsessive overthinking and it wanted to fall out. So right under that you have, I just can't stop loving you, allowing myself to be controlled by another person. I'm gathering the courage to face my fears. I love everything about you and I heard a song today and it was you speaking to me. Sagittarius, I feel like your person they're thinking a lot about you they're thinking a lot about the connection they have or had with you okay some of you could be in separation from this person or things have just been very difficult could be due to maybe a third person getting involved does not have to be another lover could be a mother father brother sister co-worker friend whatever it may be here i feel like this person may um may be getting controlled by someone else here okay they might be putting things in their head uh true or not um and i feel like this is causing some type of stagnant energy or did cause conflict between you two in the past i feel like this person is gaining the courage to possibly say something to you reach out to you sagittarius they do very much love you here they love everything about you they're very attracted to you they're getting constant reminders of you as well let's go ahead and dig further Tell me more. How is this person currently viewing Sagittarius, March 2023? How is this person viewing Sagittarius, March 2023? This one wanted to fall out. Their feelings for Sagittarius, please. And the action. Action they plan on taking towards Sagittarius, please. Can you just hold spirit and their messages? Okay, for some of you, there could have been deception in this connection. Okay, could have been a third party, could have been lies, secrets, deceit. Okay, take it how it resonates. Like I said, does not have to be in regards to another man or woman, but there was deception here. Okay, now they're viewing you as the divine feminine. So for those, um, you know, we all have feminine and masculine energy, guys. Okay, so they could just be viewing you as someone who's very um, in touch with their feminine energy at this time. Okay, let's go ahead and dig further. Some of you maybe are not taking action towards this person, keeping your cool, focus on yourself. Tell me more. How is this person viewing Sagittarius? Some of you may have long hair as well or really like to go to lakes, the beach, the sunset, sunrise, that type of energy. They're viewing you like, um, I don't know why I'm seeing like a Greek goddess or like someone who has a very unique way of dressing like very nice hair. I don't know. Let's see. Tell me more. How is this person viewing Sag? How are they viewing Sag, please? March 2023. How are they viewing Sagittarius at this time? All right. So Sagittarius, you have the Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords here, all upright. They very much feel a very strong spiritual connection with you. This could be a uh, soulmate twin flame all right, that you're dealing with. They view you as someone to have a lot of love for, someone who's very hardworking, um, stable, okay? I feel like you've done a lot for this person. I don't know why I feel that energy. And I'm not just talking financially, just ener energetically, um, maybe financially, but also just a lot of, maybe you were always there for this person. You invested a lot in this connection. You gave a lot in this connection. That's what I'm feeling. They are viewing a sense of loss when it comes to you. Okay, for some of you, this person's feeling like they've lost you. They lost a really good thing. I feel like they're constantly thinking about you, especially when they're at work. They're seeing you as someone who's possibly getting a lot of attention from other people. If you're dating online, they could have like recently seen that you're out there, putting yourself out there. They could have seen you somewhere in public. Okay, I'm picking up on jealousy. I feel like this person feel, is, viewing, is feeling jealous, feeling like you moved on or that you're moving on, like they've lost you. 
Could have been due to an argument, people getting involved, conflict here, competition. Now their feelings for you, you have admired. Wow. Yeah, this person admires you, Sagittarius. Let's dig more. Tell me more about this person's feelings for Sagittarius, please. And it's interesting because that fell right under I love everything about you. So I definitely feel like this person admires you, Sagittarius, whether you're aware of it or not. Tell me more about this person's feelings for Sagittarius. Kind of just Holy Spirit, can you clear messages? How is this person feeling right now? Okay, Four of Pentacles. And it wanted to fly out in reverse, guys. So I, I feel like this person has tried to move on, try to let you go, but they just keep feeling drawn back to you. Tell me more of this person's feelings. Five of Pentacles, they feel left out in the cold by you. Sagittarius, what did you do? Did you ghost this person, block this person? Yeah, they feel left out in the cold by you for sure. You might have rejected a new beginning with them. You might have rejected them here. Tell me more. This person's feelings for Sagittarius. Ace of Pentacles. This person wants everything with you long term. They want to offer you stability. Um, they want to spoil you here. They want something long term and solid. See two more. You know, I'm picking up a very interesting energy, Sag. If you, if this person ghosted you or they didn't appreciate you or they didn't want you, the fact that you kind of like in a way reversed it on them and rejected them back, now they're really wanting you. They're like, oh shit, I did not expect that from Sag. Like now, like the cards or the, how do you say it? Um, the roles have like changed or the cards have turned or whatever. The tables have turned. Yeah, that's what I meant. Tell me more of this person's feelings for Sagittarius. Four of Cups. They're scared of rejection. They're scared of rejection here. Okay, so maybe you could be with the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer here. Maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, this person wants to come and offer you love. They're scared of rejection. They want to send you a text message or they want to uh, start off small here to not push you away. Okay, yeah. But they're like in their head of whether or not they should reach out, whether or not they should offer you something. All right. The actions they plan on taking, you have Twin Flame. Yeah, so some of you could definitely be dealing with a Twin Flame or someone where there's a very powerful spiritual connection. Soulmate, Twin Flame, okay? See, tell me more. Actions this person plans on taking towards Sag. Actions this person plans on taking towards Sag, please. Sagittarius, March 2023. What actions does this person on their mind plan on taking? I just want to hear it. Tell me more. There's a card that flew out here. I feel like this person's going to want to fight for your attention. One second. Three of Swords. Okay. So I feel like some of you could be dealing with a Libra. All right, I'm picking up on Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, regardless, I feel like this person's going to come forward and fight for your attention, but there might have been a third-party situation, a heartbreak that happened in the past. I'm also hearing you broke my trust. I don't know what that means, Sag, but maybe this is why you might be a little bit guarded when this person comes back, um, a little defensive. I feel like, you know, yeah, this person's going to come back here wanting to make things right with you. I feel like they're slightly obsessed here with you. Um, they feel really, like, bound to you here. They want victory with you here. This could be someone that you lived with or that you had, uh, you shared something with this person. And some of you are not going to be sure if you want to reconcile with this person. But I do see them coming forward here with a lot of regret, disappointment, wanting to reconcile with you, possibly move in with you, engage, marriage, stuff like that. But I don't know, Sag, I feel like you're going to be thinking about it here because of something that happened in the past that broke your heart. It doesn't have to be a third party. It could have been just something that broke your heart or broke the trust and the connection, respect I'm also hearing. Tell me more. Actions this person plans on taking towards Sagittarius. Can just Holy Spirit give me clear messages? There could have been addictions involved as well in the connection. They might even call you drunk. I'm picking up that energy. Four of Cups. Action this person plans on taking towards Sag. 
Here we go again, page of cups again, guys. They're coming here with a text message, a phone call, something small here to a source. They're going to be finally getting out of their head and taking that risk to reach out. <clears throat> Tell me more. Action this person plans on taking. The hair font, some of you might, this person might come forward and tell you that they want something serious, something stable, they want to do things the right way. Um, marriage for some of you, engagement, moving in together. But I don't know, you might be a little bit, yeah, they're coming in with an offer, maybe gift for some of you. A lot of clarity coming in here for you, truth coming in here. Um, I feel like this will bring a lot of peace into your life after this conversation takes place. Yeah, that's going to like ease your mind, okay? But at the same time, I do feel like you're going to be thinking about whether or not you want to take this offer, accept this offer, give this person another chance, or the relationship connection another chance. All right. Let's see. What else does this person want to tell you, Sagittarius? What else does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Can I just read the clear messages? What else does this person want to tell Sagittarius? You are in my head. What else does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Can I just Holy Spirit? I keep hearing and seeing your name. What else does this person want to tell Sagittarius? You are very special to me. And I never felt this happy with anyone the way I feel with you. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person, you are very attractive. So yeah, this person, they've been thinking a lot about you obsessively overthinking. I will say Sagittarius, do expect contact from this person, possible reconciliation or an offer. So the decision will be yours. If this did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon.